Hey guys, so we're gonna talk about the root chakra in this video. Um, I have a picture I painted of it four years ago, three years ago, three and a half years ago, somewhere along that. Um, but this is a representation of the root chakra. Um, in the last video, the energy I was talking about how there's two different interpretations, how uh, Eastern is shapes and Western is more color. So this is both, which is what you see a lot of the a lot these days. Um, but yeah, it says instinct because that's like associated with the root chakra. Your root chakra. It's your first chakra. It's the one where energy first comes into your body. It sits at the base of your spine, so like right at your tailbone, the tip of your tailbone. And um, it's associated with your base instincts, okay? So your animalistic type qualities and your basic needs for life and survival and whatnot. So I wrote a blog post many years ago I'm just going to reference it a little bit so that we can uh, keep on par with each video and whatnot. But the Sanskrit name for the root chakra, because they all have their Sanskrit names, and Sanskrit is a very interesting language. It's referred to as the language of the gods. It is the first written language that we have in history, and each word was meticulously chosen to represent the vibrations of what it described. So that being said, uh, the Sanskrit name is Mulahadra. Mulha I'm my Sanskrit is crap. I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of them, but I thought I could pronounce this in my head when I was practicing a second ago. Mulahadra, Mulahara. But anyway, it means root support. And I am so sorry that I butchered that for those of you who understand Sanskrit and whatnot. Um, it's blasphemy. <laughs> but the color is red and the element is earth that it's associated with. Because, well probably not only because, but it roots us to the earth. It's our grounding chakra. It helps ground us so that we can say, um, centered and solid. Excuse the neighbors. I live in the south so loud trucks are a thing or popular or something. Um, but anyway, so your root chakra is your base chakra. It's where everything stems, okay? And I have a coming upcoming video um, about the levels of chakras in relation to Maslow's uh, pyramid if you know anything about that but stay tuned make sure you like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you catch it because it's one of my favorite subjects um but we won't get to it until we're done with all of the chakras so at least eight videos from now but anyway um so physical manifestations when your root chakra is out of balance when it's in balance you feel safe secure um you have low anxiety or no anxiety. Um, I don't know what the term for someone, is there a word for someone who has no anxiety? Or just, you know, but anyway, um, you're that person. <laughs> and, uh, you have um, no money problems, no living situations that are bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through this list here. Physical manifestations, of a unbalanced root chakra is pain in the lower bodies like your feet, legs, knees, hips, sciatica, digestive issues, prostate problems, eating disorders, um, immune system problems, depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, feeling of not belonging, jealousy, codependency, indecisiveness, phobias, and addictions. Quality of life manifestations include financial stability, hunger, shelter, and strain on relationships. 
So our root chakra can be damaged in a number of ways. Um, most damage occurs when we're children, brought about by trauma or the way we were raised, specific belief systems. Um, all of these things can influence our chakras in one way or another. So if, for example, you were grow you grew up poor um, and there was always a lack of things that were needed, you may have a poorly root chakra that is causing the same manifestations in your adult life as it did when you were a child. Um, if you had some kind of trauma where you didn't feel safe um, or you were bullied or there wasn't enough food or, you know, things like that, things that affected your basic needs in life of safety, security, food, water, shelter, those types of things, those can damage the root chakra. Um, healing it is essentially just healing those, healing those traumas. Um, but you can do it in a lot of different ways because you actually have, you know, we talked about in the last video energy and how it affects everything and energy can stagnate. Okay. So healthy, positive energy is always flowing, always moving, always going in a graceful and balanced and smooth flowy type way. Um, stagnated energy can cause, can, uh, can get built up and cause these problems. And that's where you see, uh, blocked chakras come in. And they can, when it sits there instead of flowing freely is when it can reach out and cause issues on the things that it affects because it affects these things anyway. And if the energy is stagnant, then it affects them negatively, whereas the energy is flowing, it affects them positively. Unless it's flowing too much. Like, you can, the same traumas that create blocks in the chakras can create um, overstimulation in the chakras. Because you can recognize that trauma and try to overcompensate. So instead of healing it, you're just putting more towards it. You know, if you were um, always poor growing up, you may have um, really put yourself out there to build a positive, rich life monetarily, but the fears of losing all of that and the fears of where you came are still um, attached to that chakra and the trauma, so you haven't actually healed it, so you're not actually balanced, so it over it's overstimulating. Um, so root chakra affirmations, uh, I am safe, I am confident, I am abundant, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I have everything I need. I am balanced, I am grounded, I am powerful, I belong, I am worthy, I am strong. And um, so that's gonna, I'm really big into affirmations. They are going to help you heal in a actual positive healing way instead of just covering it up with a blanket we're actually getting in there to the root problems and the root causes and digging them out by the root per se um color therapy also works really good with the chakras so if you have a um damaged root chakra then you're going to want to wear red uh surround yourself with red eat red foods, um, red, think red, lots of red. I keep, I don't do this so much anymore, but I used to get dressed in the morning according to which chakra I felt needed some love. So if I was feeling particularly anxious or for particularly, um, money mindset scarcity <laughs> is there a word for that um then i would wear red whereas if i was feeling lonely unconnected and whatnot i might wear purple because that's the crown chakra so it just 
if I didn't feel loved or if I felt like I needed to focus more on love, I'd wear green because that's the heart chakra, you know. So um, that I'm going to do a video on that too, but it'll it'll be at the end of all of these chakra videos as well. So red foods, I have a list of red foods on the blog post that you can check out. It's linked below if you're on YouTube, if you're on somewhere else, then just message me or leave a comment and I'll get the link to you. You know, all this stuff. I also have um, crystals listed here on the blog post that associate with the chakras. Um, bloodstone red jasper, garnet, black tourmaline. It's, those are going to be really good for Reiki and meditation to help healing with your chakras. Um, essential oils, cedarwood, cypress, sandalwood, patchouli. Uh, I have a blog post specifically dedicated to essential oils and the chakras. If you want to look at that, it's on the blog, earthandwater.co. Um, but yeah, so the root chakra i always refer to as the money chakra because that's where all your money money um beliefs and manifestations are going to come from so it's really good to have a healthy root chakra for a ton of reasons and that's that i'm going to wrap it up because all of these videos are going to take forever not that y'all aren't worth it you are I have a free chakra mini course. Um, it'll also be linked somewhere or just leave a comment that, you're, that you want it and I'll get it to you. Um, you can also find it on the website earthandwater.co. I've got it linked everywhere. But it's a, a free mini course to all the chakras so you can go through and um, I have meditations on there and exercises to where you can specifically um, pinpoint your blocks in your chakras and what caused them and once you pinpoint them it's a lot easier to heal them um, instead of just throwing spaghetti at the wall and trying to figure out which affirmations you need or what whatever um, then you can actually go in there and be like okay so this is what caused this so how do I heal this specifically it makes things a lot more easy a lot easier and um, I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching that I offer to go through and help you do all this because it can get a little confusing when you're trying to do it by yourself but just reach out to me and ask about that and we can talk about it and see if we're a good fit and explore our options like subscribe turn on notifications all the things share you know um sharing is caring and whatnot and i'll see you in the next video which we're talking about the sackle